Shalom. All praise unto Yahweh, by some Yahweh Shai, by some Rakaka Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. To you, I say greetings. All right. There is a lesson that I wanted to talk about because uh, when we grow through daily things in this flesh, we're constantly afflicted on all sides, you know, uh, going to work, uh, working out, getting weak, physical ailments, sickness, plague, disease. And as you can tell, I got a little cough and sneeze going on. That's what got on my spirit because, man, I hate that shit. I hate getting sick, man. It's grievous to the soul. All right. So, lucky if I keep moving the screen, I forgot to turn off my uh, low power battery. So, if I don't keep moving it, it'll go off. All right. So, I got this, uh, this, uh, Job. This is Job 19 to 26. So, lucky. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see the most high. <clears throat> so like you. All right. And though my after so worms destroy this body, man, this this it says out of the dirt we come and out of the dirt we shall return. All right. So this body is, is merely nothing, man. It's merely a a bottle to hold the vessel of spirit. I mean, a vessel to hold the uh, the spirit that's contained within. Okay. And we just go back into the dirt and uh, uh, regenerate again. All right. But the Lord is coming in and, and has his men coming in a whole different uh, energy this time. OK, he says, yet in my flesh shall I see the most high, because when the Lord returns, man, you know, we're going to look up and see the chariots. Lord willing, we're among that number to be delivered out of this place. OK, so let me get uh, first Corinthians, the 15th chapter. OK. You know, this one, it talks about uh, the body and how and what's it, uh, the ones that we shall be given and things of that nature. There's one verse that I want to get here first before I jump down to that. Lord willing, I can find it. Um, Con, this is First Corinthians 15 and 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of the Most High. I speak this to your shame. All right, so uh, Lord willing, we have the proper uh, doctrine and understanding of the Most High, man. So we are awakening to righteousness and trying not to sin. Okay, I'm trying to control. You know, uh, Paul said, "I put my body under under subjection." Okay, uh, this is, of course, with these ailments though, it's only so much we can do, man. The, these bodies are corruptible. And they get they easily, uh, you know, uh, immune systems that can get tampered with easily. Esau's got so many things in the food, water. You don't know where it's coming from. You know, Esau sends out plagues that he's put out on purpose. All right. This is a uh, first Corinthians 15 and 35. But some will say, how are the dead raised up and with what body do they come? OK, so. First, you know, that's uh, referring to, matter of fact, let me just get it. It's referring to uh, is it First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 4 and 16, 15. All right. It says, uh, I started 14, actually. For if we believe that Yahweh died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai would the Most High bring with him. All right. So uh, those that, that, Pass away for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, who have to get beheaded for this thing and 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 get put back into the dirt. All right, he says he's going to bring them with him who sleep. Okay, because when you sleep, you're going to wake up again. That's why he said they're asleep. All right, they're sleeping. They're going to be arisen a uh, when the coming of the Lord, when the chariots come. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. All right, so them which are asleep, uh, we're not stopping them from uh, gaining the, uh, the first fruits of the kingdom. All right, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of the Most High, and dead in the Mashiach shall rise first. Okay, uh, so those are the ones who's going to receive the king, the uh, chariots first, man. Those who, uh, who lives have been taken and martyred for the witness and testimony of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai.
Okay, those who had to endure going through with these corruptible bodies. Okay, because when you had the corruptible body, Esau can you know do different things to your your body. You know, but let me just go on and finish this. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's comforting, man, to know that we're going to be in the uh, in the chariots with the heavenly father, with, with the Lord and and uh, be able to be with those who who corrupt who corruptible bodies have failed them. But that was just all through the spirit, man. The Lord is, is blessing them on a different scale. Okay, <clears throat> so lock you. All right, let me see if I can. Uh, I have thought of a verse. Oh, I think it's Luke 12. I don't want to get uh, Luke 12. It says uh, Luke 12 and four. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that, have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. All right, so we're not supposed to fear Esau just because he has the power to destroy a corruptible body. Okay? We're supposed to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because uh, according to Hebrews 10 and 31, it is a fearful thing to uh, be put into the hands of the Most High. In fact, let me just get it because... Uh Hebrews 10 and 31 It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right. That's straight facts. All right. You don't, you got, that's who you got to fear, man. You how about some of y'all shy about some of dash. You're not supposed to be feeling, fearing Esau, man. Esau can't do nothing. Um, uh, that yeah, your how can do many, many great worse things to your flesh and to your spirit. Okay. So let me go on to, Back to First Corinthians, First Corinthians fifteen, so I can get to the point. It says, in First Corinthians fifteen and forty, there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. All right, so the Lord has. And, uh, bodies of the spiritual realm and bodies of the earthly realm. Okay. And they have different glories. There's one glory of the sun and one glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for one star different from another star in glory. All right. So the Lord, that's how you know the Lord got all the stars are different. The suns, the planets, the moon. All right. It says, so also is the resurrection of the dead because one thing, and I mentioned this early, I didn't get to get to this earlier, but it's one thing that we were dead and uh, and uh, the the actual physical dead who are going to sleep, but also we were spiritually dead. Okay, all right. It says uh, this where uh, the dead body. This is uh, where the dead body should lay, as uh, which is called spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, and uh, you know the Lord had to put that that flesh and that sinew back on us. All right, to by bringing us this word. All right, bringing us out of our dead state. All right, it says, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. All right, right now we're in natural bodies. Okay, the chains of darkness, but the Lord is going to give us spiritual bodies. Okay. It says, uh, and so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. All right, the first Adam uh, was Yahweh Shai, but he was made a living soul. And the last Adam, which was also Yahweh Shai, was made a quickening spirit, man. Okay, uh, so let me get that. I believe it's Isaiah. What is it? It's Isaiah 47, possibly. Yeah, kind of think so. Isaiah 47 and 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. All right. So the Lord said he's not going to meet thee as a man. He's going to meet thee as an angelic force, man, of power. Okay. He says he will take vengeance in that day. 
All right, he's coming in that incorruptible body because the first time, even and see that's how we, you know we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai because the first time, the Lord came in a physical corruptible body where they could do harm unto him. Okay, but this new body, they're not going to be able to do that to him. Okay, he's he says, uh, I will not meet thee as a man. So you're not going to see him uh, bound in the chains of darkness, thinking you can do whatever to him. Okay, it says. How be it that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that's which is spiritual. Okay, because when we're when we're brought up into those chariots, the Lord's gonna give us a new body. You know, that's a reward that He gives unto His uh His His elect. Lord willing, we're amongst that number. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. All right. So, well, like I said, when Adam came the first time, he was earthy. And even when Yahweh came on the earth, he was earthy. All right. But he's coming back heavenly. OK, as is the earth, as is the earthy, such as they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such as they also that are heavenly. OK, like, you know, the angels, the most high, Yahweh they are heavenly right now. All right. And we were heavenly at one point, too, you know, and we're going to be. We're going to be uh, heavenly again, but this time it's going to be a whole different story. OK. It says, uh, and I wanted to get second Peter, but maybe I can hold off on that. This is verse 50. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. All right. So we we. We this flesh and blood can't enter uh, inherit the kingdom of the Most High. He gotta give us new bodies because they too destroyed, man. Destroyed with we've been made smaller. Destroyed with GMOs. Destroyed with toxic water and toxic air. Poisoned everything. So the Lord gotta make us anew, worthy of the kingdom. All right. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all asleep. All right. So all of us aren't going to pass. So it says some men shall not taste the death, but we shall all be changed. All right, so we're all going to be changed uh, once we receive the kingdom, once we were uh, brought up into the chariots. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. You see that? So we're we're gonna we're gonna be changed instantly. You say in the twinkling of an eye. So you're gonna blink once. You you'll see a man is fleshly. Next thing you know, he's a, he has a spiritual body. All right, when it being beamed up into the chariots. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal put must put on immortality. All right, so the things have to change because this corruptible got to become an incorruptible body, and this mortal body has to become an immortal body, man. The Lord not dealing with uh, these this this flesh, man. You know, He understands that uh, this was given to us for punishment. All right, um. It says, uh, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be written, brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. All right. That's going to be a victorious day, graduation day, being beamed up into the chariots. Okay. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Because death won't be able to hold us down into, uh, in into the grave, man. All right. And the grave is not going to win us over because they're going to be raised up just like Yahweh was. Okay, so let me just get Second Peter just so I can bring it out. Second Peter two and four, for the Most High spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, Malachi the angels are the hosts of heaven, and we were those hosts of heaven. We we're part of the hosts of heaven. The uh, ones that were established from the foundation of the earth. OK, but we were cast down to hell, which is in earth. All right. We're in this hellish state going through slaveries and things like that. All right. And delivering into chains of darkness. We're we uh, not, first off it's this flesh, but also knowledge, wisdom and understanding, man. Chains of darkness, not knowing you who you are, not having a proper body, not knowing your culture, not knowing that you're from uh, that. You're a son of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right. Of Israel. All right, which are the so-called blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics to be reserved unto judgment. All right. So, um, you know, everybody got to sit in that judgment seat in the day when he returns, man. All right. The elect are going and you can get judged righteously or you can get judged every at the end of the day. Both sides are, are righteous, but you can get judged um, and say, hey, we're going to spare this man and he's going to receive the kingdom. 
all right? And he's going to be beamed up into the chariots. Or you can be judged and the Lord is going to uh, the Lord is going to utterly destroy you. OK, but then even still, the the uh, the two thirds of the nation of Israel shall be resurrected into the kingdom. All right. Realizing that they messed up, but they got their judgment and they're going to have their heads down in the kingdom for a while, man. All right. Realizing that they didn't listen to the men that the Lord sent out. All right. So right now we're in these chains of darkness, but the Lord is going to give us. Uh, a freedom of light by giving us new bodies okay so i just wanted to get that point because i fucking hate being sick man and lord willing we can't wait till we get these new bodies uh dealing with this food gotta worry about obesity gotta worry about unhealthiness <coughs> <coughs> so like your damn heart disease